Hi, my name is Emmanuel Sunny, and I'm going to guide you on how to create your own Gmail account. By being involved in an IT related job, you will have to know the basic skills for the use of internet such as going on Google. As soon as you go on Google, you will see an icon which says sign in on the top right hand corner of the screen. Once you have clicked on the sign in icon, you will forward to this page which informs you about the use of Gmail and where to sign in if you already contain a Gmail account. If you do not have a Gmail account, not to worry, follow one and I can guide you on how to create your own Gmail account. This is the create a new Google account page. Fill out your details like you normally would when creating an account. Once you have filled out all the details correctly and accurately, you will experience an icon called check availability, which shows if someone already has the same username as you do. This is the check availability icon. If this appears, you will have to change your username to a name which nobody has on Gmail. There are also alternative names that pop up on the page which you can use as your own username. Once you have corrected and made a valid username, another icon will appear once you have put in the password, which is called the password strength, letting you know if your password is easy or difficult to figure out on another person's frame of mind. A security question will also be filled in. The security question is helpful because if you manage to forget your password or if you decide to change it, a security question will be given so you can give a security answer as an alternative password. After dealing with the security question, you will be asked to agree with the Google Terms of Service. Once you have done so, it should be up and running. Now, sending a message is very easy. After you've clicked on the ca icon, Compose, you've and you've typed in the receiver's email address, you will see a blue icon which says attach a file, which is located where the arrow is pointing at. Once you have clicked on the attach a file icon, you will see all your documents and etc. which you would like to send to the receiver. It is very easy to add and remove contacts on your email. To add contact, you will have to click on the icon which says add to my contacts. Then you will have to type in the email so your email profile saves it. Removing contact is not as hard as it seems. All you have to do is tick the contact which you have wished to remove. Then you should click on the icon which says more on the right hand side of the page where it will say delete contact. Once you have done so, the contact will be permanently removed from your email. Thanks for listening. I'm sure you have a good time using your email account. Take care and have a nice day. Show.